Ah, uh, I dropped one. Alrighty guys, so we actually got in this box from Papo Loco. Uh, my good friend Vince over there sent us this box. And uh, we actually unboxed it on a Somewhere in Space episode. And I'm not sure when that'll be out yet, but I do kind of just want to show what was in the box for the vlog. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Obviously, Papo Loco will be linked in the description. Make sure to go check out his store. He does sell Black Series and a bunch of other toy products there on his website. So make sure to go check him out. But these are the three figures he actually did send uh, to us here on the channel. We do have the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. I will raise my camera up just a little bit here. Now this is one I didn't have yet, so this was awesome, and I'm just about to get my uh, Privateer open for a review, so these are two that uh, are going to go great together. Now he also did send the brand new Phase 1 Clone Trooper, this is the 2023 version, so another one I don't have yet, and that is going to go uh, great for the channel here. And then this is one I actually did open up for the other video there, but uh, it is the uh, Mandalorian HK87 droid. and. I gotta say, this figure is surprisingly amazing, and I didn't even know it. See, the faces in the background are gonna start taking all the focus, but uh, this one is leaps and bounds better than the Ahsoka version. The head actually has paint on it. The soft goods robes are really nice, and it's got great paint overall. This one is like a really, really good figure, and it just, it's a shame because it's a great mold, and the Ahsoka version really sucked. So if you're gonna pick up an HK-87 droid, pick up the Mandalorian version, because it's, it's a really good figure. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna open up the phase one clone yet, but I'll put him off to the side. And uh, we are gonna get the fleet commander open though, because like I said, we are about to review the privateer and I'm gonna need him out of the box for that review. So uh, let's go ahead and get this open up. Of course, like I said, make sure to check out Papo Loco linked in the description. But uh, definitely a nice looking figure. Uh, the metallic blue has kind of thrown me off a little bit, but it looks great. Let's pull him out. Now I will say it was this figure, uh, specifically like the upper body here, which I thought would be great for a brand new Django Fett. So hopefully they reuse this for a Django Fett at one point or another. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but I'm, I'm really hoping they do. We do have his jetpack here looking nice. Uh, it does have that removable missile. I believe this is just the like Boba Fett uh, jetpack here. Now we will get the uh, blaster out, looking great, and the helmet. Oh my god, that went flying. We got it though, it's a little deformed, but that's just how uh, loose helmets in the packaging kind of go, so I'll probably put it in some hot water and it'll uh, flatten it out pretty nice, but I gotta say, I like him with the helmet on a whole lot better. I think it really brings the figure together. I think my only thing is I wish the like white on the top of the helmet was the same color as this gray. I think it'd match a whole lot better. But without it, it just doesn't match the best in my opinion. But this is a nice looking Mandalorian figure. I won't, I won't lie, I think it looks really good. Now that we got him open, I do need to get this uh, Mandalorian Privateer open. Now this is the first time I'm opening the new box and I think it does look really good. Um, I am actually going to open this one from the bottom. I know I'm going against everything I stand for here on the channel. I've always been a top box opener, but they've got a little slot here on the bottom of the box to specifically open it from the bottom, so they might have uh, converted me because that is so much easier to open it from the bottom. They even have a little pull tab here you can pull out on it like that. And there we go. There is uh, the Privateer. Let's go ahead and get this insert. Very nice looking insert too. Let's go ahead and get this back in the box. Honestly though, I really, really do like the new box and I do like that they brought back the front plastic for this guy. Um, overall, really, really digging it and I do like the mural on the side of the box here. So really digging the new, the new box. Let's go ahead and uh, get him out of the box really quick. I'm gonna have to put him back in just to review him, but I do wanna get him out for the vlog here. There's the figure out. There is the jetpack out. And there is the blaster out. 
we got uh, him with his blaster and his jetpack in, and this is actually a brand new jetpack. If you look side by side here, this is the classic like Boba Django one. This one is a brand new mold for the jetpack, and it's the first time we've gotten it. Um, I know I did see some people pointing out this that this new mold here actually looks a lot like the Book of Boba Fett. Uh, Boba jetpack and so this is probably a good sign we're gonna be getting that version of Boba in the line but yeah looking at him here I think I absolutely love this color scheme I think it looks great I'm, I'm really big fan of the privateer here I think I like the privateer a whole lot more than I like uh, the fleet commander just color scheme wise but I think they both look pretty solid and I think this guy's gonna look great next to the other Mandalorians that we do have in the line so let's go ahead and grab uh, the rest of those ones and um, we'll do a comparison here in a little bit and I will say we also do have this package here from Hasbro Pulse to get open. So let's go ahead and crack it open. This is one of my pre-orders. And here we have it. Let's go ahead and move the box out of the way. And here we do have the single release of the Super Battle Droid. Obviously, I did pre-order this from Hasbro Pulse, and I'm glad it finally shipped in, and it looks amazing. It does have a bunch of, like, fuzzies all over it from the packaging, but look at this thing. It looks really dang good. It's about time we got the single release of the Super Battle Droid, and of course it does have that blast effect there, so really, really excited for this one, and uh, we will probably get it out of the box here in a little bit, so as soon as I get it out of the box, I will uh, show it in the vlog. Alrighty guys, we do have some stuff to unbox. First up, before we do get the Super Battle Droid out, we do have another box here from Hasbro Pulse, so let's go ahead and get this open. Box unfortunately came in a little crushed, so hopefully the figure isn't, but as you can see here, bunch of bunch of crushed box there, so hopefully it's not too bad, but we'll see. Honestly, surprised this thing was barely wrapped in any protection at all in the box, but the box seems to come out all right. But without further ado, we finally have gotten ourselves our first Revenge of the Sith figure here in the line with Darth Sidious. He's looking great. Really excited to get this guy out of the box and reviewed. So let's go ahead and uh, let's actually open up both of these two figures. Okay, so starting off with the Super Battle Droid, we'll go ahead and get his box here cracked open. So we got two pieces of tape there. We can pull him out. Looking great. I gotta say I do love the clean look on this guy too. Obviously we've already reviewed we've already reviewed the like muddy sandy look, but the clean look here looks great. And of course we do have a blast effect too for him, which is really super cool and I'm glad we're getting blast effects like this for the line because that's awesome and I hope we do get more blast effects in the future. But yeah we got them all out of the box here with the blast effect on looking great I absolutely love the blast effect I have to say it's one of my favorite accessories and it's something that I was hoping that the two-pack version would have come with and it didn't so just really happy to have the single release have that blast effect because it is really dang cool. Alrighty guys we just got our intro film let's go ahead and crack this figure open. I've already got it cut open here, so that's good. But I just gotta get him pulled out. Oh. As soon as I pulled it out, the back case here flew out. But let's go ahead, take the front of this off. We can get the figure out. Very easy figure to get out of the bubble there, which is nice. And of course, we do have the lightsaber looking great. And we will go ahead and get these uh, force lightning hands out. Very, very bright blue. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but it is easily the brightest blue uh, that we've ever gotten on some of these shocky hands before. 
they've been kind of this like almost pale blue this is definitely the deepest blue we've gotten for those hands Alrighty guys, we do have a box here from Hasbro Pulse, and I ordered this box two days ago and it's already here, so really excited to get this thing open. Let's go ahead, let's get it open here. Very big box, so I can say I'm pretty, pretty excited to get it open. And honestly, I'm just surprised I got it shipped so soon but I'm so excited for it man let's get this huge box out of the way we got Darth Maul's speeder looking incredible cannot wait to get this thing reviewed obviously I'm gonna have to film my intro before I get it open though so let's go ahead get that intro filmed and then I'll come back here and crack it open but man it does look incredible I'm so excited for this one Alrighty, we just got our intro filmed. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open. I am so beyond excited to get this thing out of the box. There we go. The tape is cut. Let's see how... Oh, no! Oh, I ripped the box. That was not what I wanted to do. Oof, I definitely creased it there, too. Well, good thing I am an opener because... Definitely damaged it there, but let's go ahead. And here we do have the box. Nothing going on in the bottom here, but uh, we are going to have to get him out of this. So let's go ahead. We can pull out the bubble here, and we'll get that. We'll get the rest of this box actually moved out of the way here. Okay, so first up, I will get the probe droid out here. Super cool looking probe droid and nice to get little world building items like this. So really happy we got the probe droid. Let's see if we can get it to stand up. I will lower my camera here just a little bit. Now, of course, we do have the other accessories here with the double bladed lightsaber. So let's get this tape kind of peeled here so we can get him out. Here is one saber. Here's two sabers. And of course, the binoculars. And then we do actually have Maul here, which it looks like he's in there pretty good. So we're gonna see what we can do to get him out. Alrighty, so we got our scissors here. So first things first, we got this one right here. And we do have this one right here. Okay, I think that is everything holding this guy in. They really don't make it easy, do they? Oh, there we go. We got him off the speeder. There we go. Let's get <laughs> let's get all this put away.